Now, from the lady's side, there was a question. Could you kindly come closer to the mic and, or speak a bit loudly? Could you please explain the term Hankufu, which implies. Hankufu. 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 Which implies certain conditions which I think go against the fundamentals of the Islamic social philosophy. What kufu means? Is that what you want to find out? Well, from what I understand, I think it's like when a, a, two people get married, it should, this means that we, they should come from a similar background. But, but our kufu. teachers... You know, kufu means uh, something which uh, fits in as a complementary to the other thing. Like uh, fitting the jigsaw puzzle, one piece is fitted into another and there is no friction and no uh, loopholes to fill. That is, that is perfect kufu. Kufu means the system of complementing. So if something is incomplete without another and that part fits into it, that is ideally the kufu. This is why Allah has no kufu, because he is complete by himself. He does not let any part to come and uh, make him complete. So man and wife uh, are to be treated like this. I mean, uh, if the wife is to be sought by man or uh, man, husband is sought, uh, to be sought by a woman, this is the principle which should guide them. When you find a true kufu, there is no friction of any sort left. There is a complete harmony and they work like one piece of a machinery. If you ignore certain things and there is disharmony or tensions or uh, contradictions between the two, then it will be very difficult to run a smooth life or an ideal life. <coughs> now it's very difficult for human beings to judge how to go about it. Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given us a guideline. He says, for the believers, the first, the most important and fundamental thing to go for is uh, taqwa, being being uh, pious in attitude. If somebody is pious-minded, is righteous, is good as far as religion is concerned, even if in other things he is lacking kufu, this is a very great cushioning which will help sustain the shock of differences of opinion and things. If a man is pious, then lack of kufu in other fields can be offset. If the man is a worldly person, materialistic in approach, then the lack of kufu will be uh, <coughs> pronounced to a degree where life can become a hell for the kufu. So this is why the Sulaik Reed Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has advised to find the kufu go first and foremost for piety. If piety is there, then you should rest assured that life will be all right. Well, other lackings would be more than well provided. <laughs>